Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. By order of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Royal Court Minister expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to the Royal Family for their congratulations to His Majesty the King on Bahrain's National Day, marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim state in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah and in the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The Royal Court Minister extended thanks to heads and members of all state entities, constitutional establishments, members of the diplomatic corps, heads and members of the municipal councils and private companies for their congratulations to His Majesty the King. He also expressed thanks to all the citizens in Bahrain and abroad, heads of national societies, heads and members of national clubs, sports associations and national bodies, editors-in-chief of local newspapers and various media outlets, as well as residents in Bahrain. The Minister thanked all those who participated in the celebrations and expressed their congratulations to His Majesty the King on the anniversary of their session and on the glorious National Day through cables, calls, advertisements and street banners, festivities across Bahrain, as well as poems, editorials, radio and TV interviews and all other ways of expression. The Minister wished Bahrain lasting security and stability and further progress and prosperity. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King and in the presence of the Minister of Social Development, Usama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfur, attended the This is Bahrain Society annual event at Bahrain National Stadium. This is marking the Kingdom's 51st National Day celebrations and the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's ascension to the throne. Manama has been beautifully dressed for the celebration of Bahrain's National Days with patriotic ornaments and decorative lights lining the capital's highways and avenues. On December the 16th and 17th, Bahrain celebrated its glorious national days in commemoration of the establishment of the Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state, founded by Ahmed al Fatah in 1783, the anniversary of its full membership of the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. People celebrated the national days with great jubilation, with a spirit of patriotism and fervour that reflected the strong determination to overcome the hardships that the nation had to face and merit the resolve to keep moving forwards under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning started distributing housing units to eligible citizens in East Citra town in implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the orders of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 6,128 housing services to citizens across all governorates. Housing and Urban Planning Minister Amna bint Ahmed al Rumehi affirmed that more units will be distributed to citizens within the coming months, noting that the distribution of East Citra town units will continue until the middle of this week. She noted that the Ministry's work team is finalising the procedures of a number of beneficiaries of the new housing finance scheme, adding that a large number of applicants' requests are currently being processed. Marking the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day, the Ambassador of the United States to Bahrain, Stephen C. Bondi, gave us this exclusive statement in which he expressed congratulations on Bahrain's National Day and commended relations between the US and the Kingdom of Bahrain. On behalf of the United States Embassy, I congratulate the government and the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain as you commemorate the 51st anniversary of Bahrain's independence and the accession of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. I would also like to extend my sincere congratulations on the opening of the first session of the sixth legislative term of the National Assembly. The United States greatly values our long-standing relationship with Bahrain, and we thank His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Salman bin Hamid El Khalifa for their continued commitment to our historic and growing alliance. This year, the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates its independence after conducting peaceful and orderly legislative and municipal elections and forming a new government. We look forward to strengthening our partnership with the new government, and we wish the Council of Ministers and members of the National Assembly all success in their work on behalf of the people of Bahrain. The United States and Bahrain have a deep and broad bilateral relationship covering a wide array of common interests and values from national and regional security to trade and investment, to fundamental freedoms. The firm foundation of this relationship 
is the historic people-to-people -people connection. We are partners, we are allies, and we are friends. A secure, stable, and prosperous Bahrain is in the national interest of the United States. The United States Embassy looks forward to expanding our close partnership and working with you for peace and prosperity. Happy National Day, Bahrain. The Ambassador of India to Bahrain, Apir Srivastava, gave a statement in which congratulated the Kingdom of Bahrain and the leadership on Bahrain's National Day. The Ambassador also commended bilateral relations and praised His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on this occasion. On behalf of the Indian community in Bahrain and on my own behalf, I convey warm greetings and best wishes to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the government and people of Bahrain on the occasion of 51st National Day of Kingdom of Bahrain. The historical and friendly relations between India and Bahrain have in recent years developed into a close and mutually beneficial partnership. The Golden Jubilee celebrations both in Bahrain and in India have further strengthened the bonds of friendship between our youth. Our bilateral cooperation continued on an upward trajectory this year. As we now move into the next year, I see our partnership set to intensify and expand. I join the Indian community in thanking the leadership and the government of Bahrain for their warmth and care. The atmosphere of harmony and peaceful coexistence in the kingdom have led to vibrant Indian community flourish and contribute to the economic development of this beautiful country. I once again wish the friendly people of kingdom of Bahrain continued progress and prosperity as the kingdom celebrates its 51st National Day. On the occasion of Commemoration Day, the Government of Federal District Brasilia in the Federative Republic of Brazil, in cooperation with Bahrain Embassy to Brazil, allocated space for the Kingdom of Bahrain in the Jardim Botanico Public Park in the Brazilian capital to plant the Ibibranco trees, the most famous trees in Brazil. Six Ibibranco trees were planted in a ceremony attended by Bahrain's ambassador to, Bahrain, to Brazil, Bada Abbas Al Halibi senior officials of the federal district government and the ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Brazil. Al Halibi de delivered a speech in which he emphasized that Commemoration Day was ordered by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to mark the sacrifices of the fallen servicemen of national duty. He extended his thanks and appreciation to the government of the federal district and the Jardim Botanico Public Park Administration for allocating an area in a privileged location in the park bearing the name of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the heart of the capital Brasilia, where these white trees will remain a symbol of the friendship between the peoples of Bahrain and the Federative Republic of Brazil. In conjunction with the Kingdom's celebrations of its national holidays, the hotels, hospitality and restaurant sector witnessed a boom in occupancy rates exceeding 80%. The recovery reflects the success of government policies aimed at raising the rates of tourism activity in Bahrain, as well as the size of the efforts made by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority in organising various celebrations, activities and entertainment events on the occasion of Bahrain's national holidays. The authority had issued the calendar of celebrations and festivals in the various governorates of the kingdom throughout the month of December. As part of Bahrain's festive season and coinciding with the Kingdom's celebrations of the National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, a festival was held in Luan Complex in the Hamla region. The festival included Bahraini folklore in addition to many accompanying events. The festival attracted many citizens, residents and visitors to the Kingdom in addition to the large participation of people from the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. On this occasion, a number of citizens affirmed the keenness to participate in such celebrations to renew the spirit of loyalty and belonging to this dear country. As part of the Bahrain festive season, the Ministry of Information continues to receive visitors to the heritage village in Ras Hayyan. And due to the large public turnout for the festival, the Ministry announces the extension of the festival period until next Saturday, December the 24th. The Heritage Village receives its visitors from 5 p.m. until 11 p.m. as the festival is characterised by the participation of a number of government agencies. The festival also offers various public events and activities including folk bands and the souk in addition to various entertainment programmes for all age groups.
UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed, met Omani Foreign Minister Zayed al Bazadi in Muscat on Saturday. Sheikh Abdullah, who is on an official visit to Oman, discussed the warm and historic ties between both countries with Mr al Bazadi. The two ministers also discussed ways of boosting cooperation and spoke about regional developments and global issues of mutual concern. Sheikh Abdullah said the September visit to Oman of President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan underlined the deep-rooted relations between the countries and the desire to enhance security, stability and growth in the region and the world. The meeting was attended by Assistant Foreign Minister for Economic Affairs and the UAE Ambassador to Oman. Omani citizens abroad who are taking part in elections of Municipal Council third term started voting via smartphone application in Taqib. The election process, which began at 8am, concluded at 7pm local time today. The Ministry of Interior dedicated the 18th of December to Omani citizens voting from abroad and the 25th of December for those voting within Oman. As many as 731,767 voters, including 347, 965 women, are casting ballots to elect members who will represent them at municipal councils from a total of 696 candidates, among them 27 women, who are contesting their elections. It is the first time that municipal council elections are conducted via the new app, which was launched by the Ministry of Interior recently. The app constitutes a shift forward in elections practice as it keeps pace with global technical developments.